So in our project here, um, we created a file uploader for CSV and Excel files. And we wanted to be able to read the column names to be able to map those to certain fields in the da database. So let me show this here. So selected, select our file here, and it's going to read it. Um, and then these spans labels here are the column names in that Excel file. So to accomplish that, we use a NPM package called XLSX. Uh, but this wasn't built natively for Webpack. Uh, they built it specifically for like Browserify and Node. So we ran into a few bugs. Um, but I'll show the code on how we read that Excel file. And then I'll show kind of our hack to make it work. Um, so this right here is on pre-upload. Uh, so on our uploader, we just call this callback. Um, and we check the file type. So if it's CSV, we use pop and parse because it's really simple and really fast. Uh, but if it's Excel, we have to handle it separately. So we just check the file extension. And we create a reader. Um, once it reads the file, we use the onload callback and we read the workbook. So in Excel, something we had to work with was that there's multiple workbooks uh, and multiple sheets inside that workbook. Um, so we just read the first one because in this project, we assume that all the column names are the same across all of them. But, um, and then we just do this function here to get the header row, which just takes the cells and gets that information for us. So, uh, the biggest hack we did was in CPXL. Um, the CP table is not something we want to use in Webpack because this assumes it's on the back end. And we are doing it in the browser, and we don't want to use CP table. In Browserify, they have a system that ignores this. Um, they created their own hack to ignore this, uh, but it doesn't work in Webpack. So something we did was we went to the Webpack config. And down in here, we just told it to ignore this plugin CP table. Um, and then the other hack that we ran into was that they wanted a module FS uh, file system. And that's for the back end as well, if you were using like Node. Um, so what we did was just set it to an empty module um, so that it ignores that. In their hack, I don't remember where the code was, but they tried to do a require, something like this, and they did a F plus S. And um, this works in Browserify because Browserify is set to ignore when they do concatenation like this. Uh, but Webpack just puts it together and tries to require it, and it throws an error. So, and that is how we get them out. Um, I guess I could show the debugger, kind of like the worksheets. Uh, is there any questions, though? Okay. I will show the debugger on this because it's actually really interesting to see this work. So, so our pre upload here. Let's go from there. All right, so we got the extension. We're going to create a reader, and we'll just step over and go through this. So there is our file and the name of it. Um, we set self equal to this so that we can use it in here uh, because the context of this is we want to reference the outside. So read it. Oops. 
probably need to set one in there. Okay, so data, we get the data. Um, so here's kind of what data looks like. It's going to be the entire file. We're going to read it. It's type binary. Oops, that's really big. <laughs> Yeah. So now we read it and we have workbook now, which has which is just an object. Oops. And inside of our workbook. Let's see, maybe I should clear this out. There we go. We have our sheets here. And sheet one has all the cells as objects. And these can get pretty gnarly and pretty big. It's actually pretty awesome how fast this works. Um, but once we get the header row, we just pass the keys into our action speed. And it, then the render renders out all of the columns. So any questions on how that works? Hopefully I explained it. Decently. Uh, no, this looks great. So. All right. That's all I have then. All right. Thanks. Thank you much.